Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. Um, today I thought we could play with some index cards. And I know I've been doing lots with the index cards lately and you can use plain colored ones to do this stuff. You don't have to use um, colorful ones. I'm just still working on some um, sewing ephemera. And so I just like these brighter colors, but you can definitely make any of these uh, using, you know, white three by five cards or like, um, coffee dyed or whatever or you can even use the bigger ones whatever I don't remember they're like four by six or whatever um so anyway I just want to show you really quick what I've got done <coughs> this is our little um sewing pocket booklet thing that we did the other day sorry if you hear noise I do have my window open hold on just a second It's just a never ending um, stream of trucks going by out there. So anyways, um, yeah, the sewing pattern instruction little booklet that we made, I added some uh, tags and things. And you can see that these are just the three by five cards that I've cut, punched the top, added a strip of fabric so you can write on both sides of these. I didn't decorate them because I was trying to sort of keep it as flat as possible, you know? And then this is also a three by five card with just fabric little pieces stitched up there. I don't know where I was going with the sewing, but I went off the edge. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I sometimes. Um, and then some littler ones to go in these tucks. I thought they were kind of cute with the fabric uh, hanging over a little bit. So just a little idea that I thought you guys might, you know, get a kick out of. I added some strips of other um, paper, you know, to kind of give that effect of fabric. And then... Um, there's that one on the back. So I thought that was super fun and I thought it would be fun. Um, I'm going to, <coughs> sorry, send this to Nancy, you know, when, when I'm done with all of it, but with a clip so she can clip it onto a page. And the way I would do that in a journal is take, oh my gosh, I've got stuff everywhere here. Just pretend this is a page that has another side, you know, for your journal. And you could just take it and put it over this way on the page and then you just clip it and then you know when you're turning your page it's just right on the edge there so that's kind of what I was thinking she could do with that and then we have this one I don't know if you guys saw it all done but I put a little journaling card in there with some fabric and stuff on it and then this also would go around a page, and I've made these. <coughs> it was one of my TC, TC things, which is what we're gonna do today. Um, there's that, and then we have just a library pocket and a larger, sort of almost the same as a library pocket in a way, just a much larger version. Those were inspired by Gail and. Uh, Wendy's journal adventure, but I didn't do the back. I just made it so she could glue this part, this part, and that part and have that pocket. <clears throat> and then I also made one of these this weekend that is an envelope. It starts as an envelope. I did cut the sides down a little bit because I wanted to make sure it would fit on a page. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and almost a half, but not quite, so that it'll fit on a journaling page as a pocket. It was a little bit longer envelope <clears throat> so I just cut evenly on both sides a strip off and then you can see here this is the flap of the envelope and I just put pockets inside and I've done this for my it was one of my first TCTC um, pockets that I did and I just added these little pockets they're just like this kind of idea <clears throat> but um, you know I glued them so that they are in here so there's a pocket there's another pocket out of music paper and then the envelope itself is a pocket so yeah those are that is in the TCTC um, videos so I'm gonna try to remember to put those into a playlist I've been trying to put some things in playlists just so it's easier to find all the things that go together <clears throat> okay so what I thought we could do with these is I'm gonna get two of the same color and we're just going to make super simple pockets, but I want these in my TCTC. So this is going to be our TCTC. I believe it's, um, we're on 21 or 22. I can't remember the number, so I apologize for that. But uh, yeah, that's 
that's where we're at. So we're just taking two, putting them together. I'm going to snip the corners to make it look like a tag. And like I said, I've done these before. So if you've been with me for a while, you've seen these, but I just want to get it in my idea book, which is what the TCTC is. If you're not familiar, it's the, um, um, the Colossal Tome of Concepts is, and it's, started by Dee Dee Frago. It's a challenge to, you know, make an idea book, essentially. That's just what she calls it, but that's really all it is, is an idea journal or an idea book to <clears throat> let us have a place to keep all those things together. And I'll show you mine. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still having some trouble with my asthma and stuff, allergies and all that. So anyways, um, yeah, so this is that original pocket that I did in the envelope uh, in my idea journal. So you can see here's the envelope and then there's a pocket, a pocket, a pocket. Um, I did more pockets in this one, but you can do however many or few that you like. <clears throat> so this is the way I'm doing my idea journal. Um, I know Gail and Dee Dee are both doing theirs like where you glue, you know, your items into the journal uh, the way you would have them in a journal but I decided I wanted to do it this way because I like to take them out and look at them because sometimes you forget how you did stuff so this is just the way I'm doing it but and I'm not saying this is the right way or whatever I'm just saying everybody's doing their own style so whatever appeals to you <clears throat> do it that way it's just a great idea because we make things once and then um you know, you tend not to make certain ones again. Other ones you make all the time, so I don't know. But anyway, <clears throat> but I forget about stuff. So, like, a lot of people mentioned my TCTC from last week, which was the circle pocket that uh, Wendy at Wendy's Journal Adventures did. They had forgotten about that circle pocket, and so um, it was awesome to bring that one back, and then you get it in your idea book, and then hopefully you know, you're not going to forget about it easy, easily. So <clears throat> that's sort of the whole idea behind this challenge is to try to get as many of our ideas into one place as we can. Okay, so now I'm going to put some papers on here. And I'm going to go ahead and decorate because this isn't um, hard to make at all because we're just essentially going to glue. We're going to put a thumb notch in this top one, glue the sides leave this side open and it's a pocket but it looks like a tag and you can glue it straight down onto the page you can put it into another pocket um you could clip it onto a page there's lots of things you can do with that so <clears throat> and like I said it's one that I have done before on my videos but just want to have it around and I wanted to make one for this journal so that's what we're doing because I and the first one to forget a lot of these things. So, I hope you guys all had an awesome Easter. Easter. Sorry, I just jumped right in, but I had lots to say, I guess, today. Um, yeah, we had a lovely one. We went over to my mother and father-in-law's and had, an, had a really nice ham dinner, so that was fabulous. And hung out and chatted out on the patio because the weather was like it was like 76 degrees or something like that it was wonderful today it's cold again and kind of cloudy but you know I'll take it because yesterday was just a beautiful beautiful day so yeah hope you all had a good Easter as well <clears throat> even if you had to stay home or whatever I hope that you um Got to chat with family and uh, have a nice supper or something together. <clears throat> so yeah, these again, I'm using Gail Augustinelli's feed sack uh, digitals and one of her or a couple of her trim digitals as well. And I'll link everything in the description box below the video so you guys can see. And then I have things like this, you know, this him facing, it's a, just a piece off of him facing. And they're just kind of fun to put on stuff. 
So save those kind of things if, you know, you can. <clears throat> they're fun for sewing journals. And otherwise it just goes in the trash, so you might as well use it. thinking a little piece of this edge or do I want this oh, it's too matchy <coughs> sorry I'm just had a time of it lately sometimes there's a reason other times it just there just doesn't seem to be a reason <coughs> so just struggling a little bit We worked out in the yard all day Friday, so that probably got it going. And we went and picked up my daughter's bike yesterday, and it was um, in, like, one of those garages that the universities use. <clears throat> it was kind of dusty in there, so I think that was bugging me, too, but it doesn't take much. <coughs> but much better than last week, that's for sure, so... It's all good. I'm trying to find, I have more ladies, but I want to see if one of them goes better on there. And where I put them, I have this one. Oh yeah, I kind of like her with the blue. <clears throat> the birds are just out chirping away. I got their houses all cleaned out on Friday too, which is good it's good to keep them clean as much as many times as you can <clears throat> during their nesting season because you know that helps keep the dust mites and stuff like that out of there so I do try to keep mine nice and clean for them <clears throat> But yeah, they've been hopping all over the yard, just singing away the last couple of weeks, getting ready. I told my husband the <clears throat> I have one red um, little bird house that my sister got for me, and I kind of want to use something else on here. Um, <clears throat> I can see it from the kitchen window, so like when I'm doing dishes or whatever. And it's out on our shed. And he, the male bird is so funny because he'll get on the rooftop of the shed and just tweet and hop around. You can just tell like he's advertising his nice house. <laughs> he just cracks me up because he's so proud of himself. <clears throat> I feel like everything's going too much that direction, huh? And then I will stitch around these too once I get them the way I like them. I don't know if I like that or not. It just feels like everything's going this way. <clears throat> Maybe we'll use one of these numbers instead. Oh, yeah, <clears throat> we've had a very productive weekend because my husband was off Friday and I got my videos done and stuff so that we could, you know, do some yard work. I cut down <clears throat> a whole bunch of our grapevine and got it all ready to get going again. It just needed it. It was like kind of overgrown and it was just looking a mess. So <clears throat> I just got it all cleaned up, got a lot of dead branches out of it, and got it ready to go, so I'm happy about that, because I've been wanting to do that for a couple of weeks, but just been busy, I don't, the blue wasn't working for me, <clears throat> so that was good, I love working out in the yard too, especially this time of year, because it's warm, but it's not hot. 
as we all know, it gets a little wow. I like these ads in the back of these um, work basket magazines. This one's 1957. Even if they're not necessarily sewing, there are some sewing ones, but I don't see any on this particular page, but <clears throat> we're just gonna, just a hooked rug one here that, what's that one, what penny cost? I'll just take these two ads. <clears throat> On the old paper, it's pretty. Yeah, just something like that, I think, would be better. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm probably going to drive you guys insane with that. But yeah, these um, little three by five cards are fun to make pockets and things out of because they're fairly thin. But um, if you don't, if you can't get three by five cards or something, you can just cut, you know, cardstock into three by five size and do the same thing. Any, um, I mean, you could do a Tim Holtz paper or whatever. So this is just what I'm using. <clears throat> but you definitely don't have to do that out of three by five cards. Okay. And then when I put it on here, and I will, like I said, I will stitch around it. For now, I'm just gonna glue it, but I wanna thumb notch it, sort of in, kind of in the middle. <clears throat> So then we have a nice little pocket. And I think we'll put one of our little thread things on there. <clears throat> Stamps, not things. <laughs> okay. And we're just going to put some glue on those sides and then we'll glue it. or stitch it later once this is all nice and dry. Just do this for, <clears throat> so they're not wiggling around when I'm sewing because I'm not very good at just, sometimes I clip them and that works too, but this will work for the video's sake. <clears throat> Except that I got it a little bit crooked, didn't I? And I always get glue everywhere. So yeah, then this can just be glued down or it could be put in a pocket and you could write on the back. Um, yeah, there's lots of things. You could put a little fabric up at the top for a decoration. <clears throat> and then you'd wanna make like another card to go inside. So the good part is you can use another three by five card just cut it down to a smaller size. And it makes a fun little pocket. So we're gonna just chop off like, um, I'm thinking, uh, let's go four and a quarter. That way we know that it'll go in and out without a problem. And then we're just gonna cut off a little bit. I wanna kinda leave, I like that top line with the red but you can do it however you want. I'm just gonna cut like a quarter of an inch off, I think. We'll try that. <clears throat> yeah, that'll work, I think. That kinda, I don't really wanna see that corner, so I'm gonna cut it just a little bit more. So maybe we'll go to five eighths, two and five eighths. Yeah, two and five eighths. And then it fits right inside of there, perfect. And I'll just stitch around there. Put a little fabric pole there. So I wanna make one to go in my um, idea book, but I'm just gonna make it out of regular three by five cards <clears throat> because those are easier to find. I think I got the last two packages. I just 
ran in and grabbed them the other day at the dollar store and they just had two left. I don't know if they'll get more or not. See, it's kind of, as you know, I'm sure, um, dollar stores are kind of tricky because sometimes they have stuff for a long time and they keep getting it in. Other times it's like a one-time deal and when it's gone there isn't any more. So <clears throat> I've been saving these because I think you could make little fabric strips like just, you know, clusters or something. <clears throat> So I'm just going to snip that right there, and then I'll have that to go in my idea book. And I'm not going to decorate this one because this is just, you know, for me to have in my book. But of course, if you want your idea book to look fancy, you can, you know, decorate them up. I just am kind of doing them basic. Okay, and then another one we could do. <clears throat> Get my pen in there. Let's do this minty green color. Is um, you can just do like a little pocket, like we've all probably done before. Do I want? I think I'll put this holes on this side and I'm just folding it up I'm not it doesn't have to be a specific amount you just decide how much you want up there and how much you want somewhere else you know what I mean <clears throat> for the pocket part is what I mean by somewhere else <laughs> you're like uh, what and then we need to find some paper to cover it with <clears throat> so yeah just make it fun Right. And simple sometimes is good. Uh, this is from my buttons, digital lace and buttons and stuff. I don't know if this specific page is in there because um, I have a bunch of things that I'll make and scan and then I use parts of and I don't always use every single bit, but... There are pages like this in that digital. Okay. <clears throat> and maybe we can use some trim or something. I am going to round the corners on that just to make it not quite as obviously a 3 by 5 card. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just looking through Gail's stuff here to figure out what I want to use on that. <clears throat> Piece of this, maybe. Yeah, that would work. But there's another. Page that has kind of that minty color. I don't know what I did with it. <clears throat> Maybe I'm delusional. a little bit of this. This is Artie Mays. Um, I do like the color of that, but I really need to use these. I like these. <clears throat> wow, that's loud. <laughs> that edge up there. I'm just going to kind of ding it a little bit because I don't want to tear it because I'll tear those numbers all off. And I'm not going to need this whole thing. So I'm just going to go to like there.
see if I can see what I did with the rest of those. I had a whole <clears throat> thing of the ladies. I may have to pause the video and figure out where I set those. And then a little piece of this, maybe. But I want across the bottom. <clears throat> Or this would be cute too. Now I know I have a piece of that because that's what I tore that other part off of. Sorry, I get these piles and then I can't find anything. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll go with that instead. My piles, oh, pages. <clears throat> And I know this is kind of a tiny pocket, but um, sometimes you just want a little something like in a corner. And these kind of things are just nice, I think. Let's scooch it down. I kind of like that top part. I got it a little bit big. Cut the pocket open. <laughs> <clears throat> Have done it. This is fun to do, like with playing cards too. I've done videos uh, with playing cards doing the same sort of thing. It's just um, simple little cards, you know, or uh, pockets and things just by holding the cards and whatever adding some goodies to them and you can do the same thing with um what are they called um guest checks <clears throat> and they work really well too they look super cute Guess check pockets. Okay. I don't know why I love those bingo things with this stuff because it's, you know, obviously has nothing to do with sewing, but just cute. French perfumes. Genuine imported. <laughs> Maybe. Tear that off. <clears throat> oh, except then I'm going to cover up all my buttons, huh? I don't really want to cover up all my buttons. Hmm. I don't want to cover up all my buttons. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't want to do that, so I think I'm, I'm good with that. I'm just going to do some glue on the sides, and again, this will get stitched around. And you could, if you wanted to, um, stitch across there before you glue it or stitch it closed. But I'm just gonna go up and around like that. So that's a fun little pocket. And then it can also have a little um, card in there. And I'm gonna cut this one at two inches so that I can use my Stampin' Up tag punch thingy. <laughs> and because it, it can only handle a two inch wide tag. And 
like I said, I got that on Stampin' Up. I don't know if they still have it. Um, you know, I have no idea, but it uh, looks like that. It's a little... <clears throat> I wish they would bring back the whale tail, because that's the one I really want, is that whale tail punch. Let's see how long I forgot. I need to cut that down. Let's go. A short, a shorty. So that'll just go in there. I might just do a bunch of fabric and stuff on that one again because that turns out so cute. We could put our little <clears throat> perfume ad on here. That's what we'll do. And then there's lines on the back. I know they're going this way, but you know, you can turn it and journal on that. So that is super fun. I could do this and maybe a little piece of fabric here. Oh, not fabric, it's a feed sack, <laughs> but it, it was fabric. And I'll probably add something to that other tag too, but I'm just doing this one for now. Just do a little piece on here and then I'll add some fabric up at the top or something. Kind of like I did for those <clears throat> ones that are in that other pocket. I showed you earlier. So yeah, three by five cards can be super fun to do stuff with. <clears throat> So nothing real new here today, just um, ideas you may forget about, or I mean, for some people it'll be new because I have got quite a few new people and welcome, welcome to all of you. It's always good to have more people and more ideas floating around, right? Okay, so another one that we can do, oh, we need to make one of those real quick. I'm just gonna make the pocket itself. I'm not gonna worry about the tag to go in it at the moment. And I'm just gonna leave it so you can see the three by five uh, lines. Just so when I'm flipping through, I remember that there are three by five cards. I didn't make the last one at all. Okay. a second one that we can add to our TCTC and then let's do a pink pocket and on this one I'm just gonna I think I'll go this way fold it like this so obviously this is um, not going to be super huge and I'll tell you how much I fold it over here it's probably about an inch roughly Oops. Um, like an inch. Oh, that's centimeters. Why do I do that all the time? Yeah, it's like an inch. I just folded an inch over. Okay. <clears throat> Don't use centimeters, but for some reason I always grab that end. Not that I'm opposed to them, I just don't know how to use them. <laughs> I mean, I get how, but like we just don't use them in the States for a lot. I mean, some things they are used for, but I think I'm going to grab that one. So I've got two different trims of gales that I'm using. And when you go in her shop, you'll, you can easily see these if you don't already have them. A lot of people I'm sure have them already. I'm gonna go right up the edge like so. Okay. 
I'm just gonna mess up this edge because I forgot to tear it and I don't want it to be too short. So I'm just gonna rough it up a little bit. Yeah, but if you can find the colorful um, three by five cards and you like that, look, these are great because they add just a little color, but you can um, cover up if you think they're too bright or something. You can cover up parts and tone them down a little bit because they are kind of bright, uh -huh. especially the yellow. The yellow is a little wow for me, but <clears throat> um, I'm going to wait until I put another piece of paper on there. This work? That might be kind of fun, huh? Do the one going right side up, though, maybe? <laughs> okay, let's just tear across here. can't believe these are feed sacks. Isn't that incredible? I'd love to find some of these. I've never seen them before. Like, you know, for reals. Got glue stuck to my hand. Oh, I didn't do very good on that, did I? Oh, I'll just bring it this way. I just need a piece. Well, measure that will help, huh? Tear a little bit more of this off because I mostly just want to get right up to those roses. And then. I gotta give Pasha a bath today. Wish me luck. <laughs> I don't know what made me think of that, but I'm like I'm th thinking of things I need to do today. That's always wow. Because he has to be dried and everything, because he's got so much fur. <clears throat> so, and I have to wait until it's fairly warm. Like it can't be very cold. Like I won't even do it in the winter. Because even though the house is heated, he can just get sick pretty easily. So, I'm supposed to warm up a little bit later today, so I will probably do it this afternoon. Oops, that was good. I just cut my glue. I want the most roses I can see. Snip out of this. Yeah, and he doesn't uh, exactly love it either. Especially the blow drying part. I can really do that. Okay, so then this one will just get glued on these two sides to make a little pocket. And then we can make another little tag. What color do we want? Do we need the blue? Or do we want to try for a yellow? <laughs> it's just very well. I mean, it would be cute with that, so let's just do it. So we took an inch. I wonder if I can put a two. Probably not. That doesn't hang over that bad. That wouldn't be a horrible. Oops. Put that in here. Um, yeah, we'll try to. Because I like that top on that punch. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to round the corners at the top of this. That's what I wanted to do before I stitch it. My daughter didn't have to work yesterday, so she got to hang out with us and everything. I mean, she was going to come and have dinner regardless, but it was just fun to 
hover around the whole time. <clears throat> Okay, we need to cut off a little off the bottom. I'm just gonna use scissors. Let's see how tall do we want it? Maybe I just have to cut off a little bit. It covers up that pretty rose, but when you take the tag out, you'll see it. Okay, so what are we going to cover that with? I need to ink. These, uh, those feed sacks are so fun, Gail. I just, they're so stinking cute. Okay, what do we want to put on this one? We could put... Much yellow. Yeah, that's a lot of yellow. Um, what else? This one might be cute because it does have some yellow in it, but it's not like entirely yellow. side, huh? That wasn't very smart. Wow. <laughs> I know I say it every time, but I am always amazed. Those trucks go by. I think we'll use a little sewing tissue in there. I'm gonna grab some. I'm trying to figure out, there's always like kind of a glossy side and a non-glossy side, so I kind of want the non-glossy side. I kind of just do the whole thing here. Oh, whoa. Look at that. <laughs> is it the dye and the... That is weird. Actually, maybe it'll come over a little further. I hope that doesn't stay that color. That is so strange. It's nothing on my glue stick. Huh. That is very weird. I think it's going to stay that color because this... Is that color. Yeah, it's like it changed the color of the card. Ah, that's really strange. Okay, so we're not going to use tissue on one of those yellow ones. We'll just go with it like we did the rest. That was very strange. My word, I'm having a pickle of a time all of a sudden. Didn't punch all the way. There. <laughs> so we'll just put on this then. That was very weird. And I'll just 
put glue on this, and then once I put it down on there, if it changes color, it's not going to matter. Or not change color because I had to get a new one. I mean, it did change color, but that was very weird. Okay, what else do we want to put on there? Do I have any ladies and any of these needle pointers? That's kind of cute. Do some of that. Yeah, I wonder what's in those that makes them turn color like that when they get a little wet. Now, obviously, I don't want to cover up everything here. I think this is kind of cute. Yeah, kind of like it like that, I think. I'll put something else back behind. Alleys, just like a strip of it. And that's Allie, the Cockney Craft Shop on Etsy, and uh, she's the Cockney Crafter on YouTube. Mm. I don't think that's going to work <laughs> after all that. Um, I was trying. Um, I do want something. I guess a piece of that would work. It's so funny how sometimes it just comes so easy and other times it's like, I just don't know. Yeah, I'll just trim the top off up there. And I'll put fabric up there again on that one, too. And I want this down here. I mean, you don't have to. You could stop there. It would be totally fine, but just like that. I think it's cute. Okay, so that one goes in there. So yeah, I think those are super cute. I didn't decorate this one at all, but I'll, I'll get to that. I'm going to stitch around those and come back and I'll show you what they look like. I'll be right back. Okay, so I stitched around those, but I want to show you. This never did. Isn't that weird? It turned it so orange. I don't know. Strange. Anyway, um, stitched around these, and so you can see there's that little guy. I just added a little fabric up there. Oh, and I found my ladies, so I went ahead and added some of those. That one I just added. Oopsie. Sorry. Fabric up here. Fabric there. Uh, this one added a lady and just a little tab on there and then stitched around here like that. 
So that is those. And I did, because I heard you guys yelling at me, I made one <laughs> of those ones too to go in my TCTC. So these ones will go to Nancy and these ones will go in my idea book. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope it was helpful to give you a few uh, more easy, you know, ideas that are fun. So we will chat again tomorrow. Talk to you later, guys. Thank you so much for everything. Bye now.